dash your foot against a stone. Jesus said to him, it is written again, you shall not tempt the Lord your God. Again the devil took him up and an exceedingly high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and their glory. And he said to him, all these things I will give, to, or give you if you will fall down and worship me. Then Jesus said to him, Away with you, Satan, for it is written, You shall worship the Lord your God, and him only you shall serve. Then the devil left him, and behold, angels came and ministered to him. He said, it is written. And he quoted 
the verse of the Bible mentioned that live by bread alone. Excellent. See what happened when our Lord Jesus Christ started using scripture back to the devil. What did the devil do? In the second temptation, what did he do? He started with, it is written. The devil actually quoted Bible verses. He actually quoted the Bible verse. Why? Because he saw Christ is using that as a weapon. He said, okay, if you're going to use that as a weapon, I'm going to use it against you as well. It is written, I know some Bible, but I know the whole Bible. The devil knows the Bible inside out. He memorized the whole Bible. He knows all the verses, more than you and I. But the difference is, there's no love. He doesn't love God. He fears God. The devil fears God and trembles. That's what the Bible tells us. The devil knows God. The devil has faith. The devil believes in God. The devil knows God exists. Many people nowadays don't believe God exists. The devil believes God exists. And he trembles and he fears him. But he doesn't love. That's why he'll never be saved. Because he doesn't love God. He actually knows the existence of God and believes him and, and trembles from him. And he knows the Bible inside out. But there's no love. There's no relationship. And that's why we need to understand that the devil will use anything. The devil will use Bible scriptures. Nowadays, a lot of heresies, a lot of heretics come and knock on our doors. They don't believe in God, but they give us a copy of the Bible and say, here's the Bible. But we know that this is the wrong teaching. Why? Because the devil does that. The devil quotes Bible verses. It doesn't mean he believes in God. It doesn't mean he has a relationship with God. It doesn't mean he fears, uh, he, he wants to have a relationship with God. It doesn't mean he actually worships God. We have to be very careful. And then we see that every time in different temptation, our Lord Jesus Christ comes back with the weapon, the Word of God. The Word of God, St. Paul tells us in Ephesians, the Word of God is the sword. The sword is the, the, sword is the Word of God. It has a two-edged sword. We can actually fight with it. It can help us to fight back. It can help us to assure us of God's love. And we see here that our Lord Jesus Christ taught us Mainly two lessons here. The importance of fasting and prayer. He started his ministry by fasting and prayer. Going in the wilderness, having quiet time, and fasting and prayer. And when the devil attacked him, he fought back with the word of God. And this is why it's very important for us to be really, really, really go deep into the word of God. Because this is the strongest weapon against the devil. Because as St. Paul tells us in Ephesians, our spiritual war is not against blood and flesh. We're fighting against principalities of darkness and evil powers. So we cannot use normal weapons, but we have to use spiritual weapons to attack the devil. This is the only way. And the spiritual weapons here our Lord Jesus Christ gave us is fasting and prayer and the word of God. And, and he said that and he did that so he can tell us, I have overcome the devil today, so I'm passing on that victory to you. So you are victorious through me. We, as Christians, we understand. Some people get really scared from the devil and think he's so powerful. He's so powerful if you fight him alone. But if you take God with you, if you're holding God's hand, nothing will fear us. And we we'll always pray that in the thanksgiving prayer, for God has given us what? God has given us the power to do what? To tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. God has given us that power to fall clean to Him if we are holding His hand. And that's why during these beautiful times of the great fast, we need to hold time to God's hand. We cannot let go. Why? Because the devils and temptation are so strong. And we find that they become so extreme and so severe, especially during this great fast. Why? Because the devil hates fasting. He knows that when you're fasting and praying more, become closer to Him become more powerful. That's why he gets more enraged and wants to fight us more. And he found the temptations increase during this period. But that means we have to cling on more tighter to Christ and not leave him. And we'll be victorious. God gave us the victory today. So he said, I'm victorious. He can be victorious through me. We need to hold him to Christ and not let go. No matter what happens. No matter what happens. Because we are strong. We are victorious in him. And today, he taught us the importance of fasting. He, he sanctified the fasting. So when we fast, we say we are fast. God sanctified this fast. God gave power to this fast. 
He fasts himself, when we fast it, we have the same power that fasts to overcome the devil and temptations. Glory be to God.